Well, Tyler's had he's had quite a week, and uh, um, he and, and Rob and Bob have spent a lot of time together. And you know, the ankle is still pretty sore. A lot of the swelling is is out, and so uh, which, which allows him to tape it pretty good. And um, you know, he, he moved around a little bit today in practice. Did a little bit, you know, actually did more than I thought he would. And so we'll just see how he responds to that and see what happens tomorrow. And I know he wants to play, and I know that we want him to play. So we'll just uh, kind of see how it goes from there. If he, if he can go, is it just simply next man up, or, or do you have to seriously tweak what, what you're trying to do offensively? No, I mean, there'll, there'll obviously be uh, a, a different approach. Um, but within the system, and the guys all understand that it's not anything that we need to reinvent. It's just, uh, um, you know, options available to us. and. Kind of with that lineup, what what uh, you know what option works better for us in transition? What we can do in a high post? I mean, what we can do in, against the zone in the high post as far as who we put in there? And so those things will all just um, you know have to occur kind of you know on the fly when we see uh, and what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't think there's a a lot of real major adjustments. Uh, to be made as far as the, the scheme is concerned, but the personnel adjustments obviously are big. Be good to have finals. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be good tomorrow morning. We got the th three guys that actually have finals tonight, oh, but it's uh, uh, the guys have worked really hard, and it's been a strenuous week for them. Um, I know mentally, and, and uh, we've had a couple good practices. But I, I felt like it was almost kind of like a. Uh, a release for these guys. I mean, from from their their studies, and, uh, and then we had some individual workouts, which guys were good at. So this time is always uh, interesting. It's interesting to see how they come back, and uh, big game. It's a it's a, a game where you know, our guys should get uh, really excited to play it, and uh, so I think I think mentally we'll be ready, and and hopefully physically we can find ourselves after kind of a different week. You know, coaches are we're, we're really routine kind of people, and we like the routine. And when the routine kind of gets broken up a little bit, you, then you just kind of uh, you're always wondering how they're going to come out and how they're going to play and what, what, what kind of feel you have to your guys. But especially after the routine is broken. I think that's why, you know, in football, bowl games are so interesting because the routine of the last 16 weeks is broken. And then you go play a game. So we'll see how this works. It looks like uh, they have the majority of their starters back from the team you saw last year. What, what's, what's similar and different from this team that you faced in Palo Alto last year? Well, they, they, uh, you know, they lost a couple you know, really good players to the draft. And, uh, but I, I think that they, you know, they're obviously running the same uh, offensive system, you know, that uh, the triple, uh, the triangle that you don't, you don't see a lot um, in college. Uh, and so that's that's you have to really be you know you got to be really disciplined in your assignments defensively. Uh, this Randall is is a handful. He's a guy who is way more aggressive this year um, as far as his offense is concerned. Um, they're really good in transition. I think defensively they're long. They play being a three guys almost all the time that have really good size and length and strength to them. So uh, it should be a physical game. I, I think that uh, I, I would I would be surprised if the game is like it was last year. I, I think that the, the game will, will probably, uh, and I, I just believe it will be a little bit different. That game last year was early in the season. The referees had a kind of a, a, an agenda that they were supposed to enforce. And there were a lot of fouls called in that game. And we'll, we'll, I think we've kind of adjusted back more to the midline than uh, we were at that point. So. What did you think of your uh, big presentation? Uh, that's nice. My wife loves to do that. And I don't really have too much say in that. But <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> Would you have a, a guy of, of Tyler's caliber who's, um, you know, on the fence 
you notice, I mean, the, the makeup of your team such that guys want to step up or, or, or maybe feel that and, and are ready to kind of fill that role just in case? Well, the, the, there's no question that the opportunity, when there's an opportunity uh, available that guys all want to put their best foot forward and get a chance. And I, I think when you, you look at the, the a couple of practices that we've had this week, when you look over at the sideline and you're looking at Nate and Ty, I mean, there's you know 70 minutes a game almost that uh, are available uh, for someone else to play if those two don't play. And so um, I, I think that can create uh, some real energy as far as opportunities available. Crook, from where he was last Saturday when he held off the floor to today, what you saw, how would you characterize Ty's toughness? <laughs> Yeah, there's no, there's no doubting his toughness. He is, he's, he's made tremendous. I mean, I was really surprised that he could go through, through some of the things that he went through today. But uh, I don't think he's pain free. I just think he's tough. Coach, you're midway. Sorry, I'm okay. you're midway through that tough December schedule. What progress have you seen in your team this month? Well, I, you know what I really like. If, I, if I'm going to say one thing about this group. What I really like is the uh, the response in the Weaver State, in the Weaver State game. I mean, we, we went up there in a, a tough situation and in in-state emotionally, uh, you know, just with a kind of a disappointed spirit to us, and we played really well. We played with urgency. We played aggressive. We played together. Other guy, we had other guys step up in a situation where. Uh, you know, we had a guy, you know, a guy out and a starter out that a really experienced starter was out, Nate, and and so uh, that's the part of this team that hopefully we can continue to find that uh, well, we we don't need to be <clears throat> in a situation where we are disappointed to find an edge to really play because that edge was really good the other night.